Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. Welcome to the Universal Broadcasting Network's Hit Afternoon Show. Bringing you the latest in music news, artist interviews, and more. With your hosts, Lauren Dare Owens, Justin Tanucci, and Taylor Reyes. This is The Music Project. Hey guys, it's Lauren Dare Owens, Justin Tanucci, and my name is Taylor Reyes, and this is the Music Project brought to you by Hubert's Lemonade. Love this stuff. Like, mm. <laughs> sorry, your mom texted me. Yeah, I know. I just got that too. Sorry, I was like, oh no, what the did text. Taylor do? I know. I was, I was waiting for me to get in trouble, actually. Actually, uh, my favorite thing is when you got in trouble the other day because your mom texted you like nine times asking where you were and you were laying on the couch. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was I was so mad about that. She's like, Taylor, so, where are you? You're not home. Where are you? I can't find you. So I get home around like like one or t- like I go home or like like 12 or one, not one or two. But I got <laughs> home like around one and like she's just like going off on my phone. <laughs> and then my phone's like, like I have it on vibrate. So it's just like it's like ringing out of nowhere. And she's like texting me. And we're probably five feet away from each other. <laughs> and it's just like, like it's kind of, I, I know my kitchen was just kind of dark at the time. Maybe she just didn't see me walking by me twice. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, so I'm on the couch and she's like in like on like the on the kitchen counter. just like like texting me, like going to work. And I could see her just like reaction getting more and more mad as each text goes on. <laughs> And like you know, it's bad because like parents oh, are like the, on the coach. Well, if you yeah. miss one text, you're fine. If you miss two texts or two phone calls, you're done. But she doesn't get that like there's like that like I can't respond in the first half second that she sends a text. Yeah. So like she'll send it and then she'll send four and then they'll all be caps and then I'll get like twelve missed calls mm-hmm. and like she doesn't realize that I can't pick up on the first ring either. <laughs> So like she so she's a go, she's just off on my phone like she's like like Taylor 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 it's like everything's caps, <laughs> and then she like goes outside looking for me like my truck's there she comes upstairs <laughs> she walks by me again she calls me and I like pick up the phone like I'm I'm just right behind you <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't ha- you didn't think to like sit up and say hey mom I'm here I thought you could hear my phone ringing like it was it's not like it's not like there's <laughs> it's not like it was hard to hear that's but, funny but I love you mom Aww. Well, Taylor, who do we have on the show today? We have. Well, you guys want to introduce yourselves? It'd be more fun. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we we are racing on the sun mm-hmm. from uh, Denver, Colorado. Awesome. Oh, I'm actually she- from Denver. Just I was hometown. I was born in Denver. That's awesome. Oh, right on. And would you mind just going down the line, just saying what your name is and, and what your instrument you play? Instrumental weapon of choice. Okay. It's more fun to say that way. Yeah. So I'm Oscar. Weapon I'm of choice. <laughs> weapon of choice. My axe. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I got the Oscar. electric axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, you already did? I said, oh, I'm, I said I'm Oscar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, he plays the axe. I'm Alfonso <laughs> and I sing. Um, I'm Donnie. If I had a weapon, it would be a Warhammer, preferably. Oh, Warhammer. But I also play bass in the band. But I also play bass. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm Brian, and I play drums. The war drums. The war the drums, war yes. Yeah. <laughs> the war drums. sticks to throw them <laughs> yeah. So you say you guys are from Denver, Colorado. How did you guys awesome. all get together and form? What well, part of Denver, more specifically? So I'm... Denver like, is the broad term. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, we are literally from all over Colorado. Oh, Northern sweet, Colorado, sweet. And, uh, but we Denver is down just... In Denver and okay. play there mostly... And Greeley, so we just say we're from Denver to make awesome. it simple. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, of course. The, just like the more recognizable, like major city. Yeah, so. yeah, like yeah. You, uh, we would never say, "Oh, I'm from New Hall." It's just like <laughs> right. I'm from yeah. Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like just a. I, I mean, I say one. I'm from Valencia. It's like, where's that? I'm like, think Six Flags. Like, Magic oh, Mountain. Oh, oh okay, yeah, 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 got it. <laughs> <clears throat> um, awesome. How do so, we form? Yeah, like how'd you guys? <laughs> 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 Asking <laughs> yourselves a question. <laughs> we just met we? one day in a mall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you, uh, you guys look like so. Basically, basically, we like the three of us have been going to school for 
forever mm-hmm. and uh we're just kind of like playing in just like a, a variety of like bands uh just kind of doing like Amberlin covers and yeah, stuff like from it. age 13 pretty much and yeah. then uh and then eventually i met uh oscar and uh he, through him not really wanting to join the band for a while because he didn't want to do like music like full time and then and then eventually you know life life hit him and he was like i really want to do this and then so then he joined us and uh and then we had an, another member who ended up uh leaving and then it just like uh, that's what happens with bands. Like mm-hmm. people just come and go, and then you yeah. find, like, kind of find a group that sticks. Or yeah, totally. You yeah. don't. Yeah, <laughs> like like this is the like this lineup is definitely the most solid it's 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 ever been. And and it's that been happened like a year just that last way. year too. Yeah, it's been about a, a year over. now. So awesome. Personally, for each of you, I know you know different instruments, different people. What was your experience growing up with music? Like, did you come from musical families, or was it just kind of something you picked up on your mm-hmm. own? And who you know influenced you as far as music? Um, I came from a musical family. My father played guitar, he dabbled on drums, and he, he loved to write songs <coughs> and stuff like that. All my uncles played instruments too, and they played together every once in a while, mm-hmm. like for family reunions and stuff like that. So it's always like kind of, I, I just loved music as a kid. Always just yeah. wanted to play, write, whatever. So I started with guitar actually, and then went to drums and played both. So I kind of have like both sides of the coin as far as that goes, as far as like the writing process goes. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> um, no, not in my family. <laughs> 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 my my parents are actually like the quietest parents. Yeah, he, he can attest to oh, it. They, you just any little noise. You turn up the TV t- like to like five, <laughs> and it's just mm-hmm. like turn that down. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Like, so you're well, like the, you're the troublemaker. Like oh god, pretty no. much. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. music. <clears throat> so like crickets in your house, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cricket <laughs> will go, and my dad will hunt it down. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I don't know. I heard Blink One Eighty Two one day, and then I decided right <laughs> then and there I wanted to play that. And then from then on, I just learned. You're Taylor's new best friend. Now. I know. I love you, man. Oh, <laughs> Blink Blink One Eighty Two. Blink Life. This always seems Blink to bring life. people together. Somehow. Blink is yeah, life. It, it does, <laughs> it's pop punk. Dude. There you go. Nothing wrong with it. No. Like, damn it, yeah. best song ever. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I like uh, their holiday song. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we're not <laughs> we're not singing that. Yeah, we're not we're not. My mom thinks it's the funniest song. Just really. look She'll at the holiday to that one. What is it? Happy holidays, you bastard! Yeah, yeah. 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 that's that's my favorite. I mean, if you guys want, song. I can do that acoustically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe on break. It's only maybe on break. Just <laughs> it's Christmas so Eve and I've only wrapped two. Okay, we're, dude, we're gonna we're gonna stop All right, right there. I'm done. <laughs> Continue. Uh, so yeah, I definitely my my father is uh an instrumentalist as well multi-instrumentalist mm-hmm. but he uh he's like the best singer that i know yeah. and uh he sings mexican like mariachi music oh, and just, cool. like, awesome. i mean all different types of, yeah. of mexican music and so he just like from him i guess uh maybe i acquired the gene or he just taught me some things here and there to just be able to just belt out loudly and just <laughs> like uncle man but <laughs> hit the uh, right notes yeah pretty much like yeah and uh so he kind of started me out on guitar like he just kind of like showed me like a few of the basic chords and then I just was self-taught like after that I just mm-hmm. I, around the same time I was like introduced to a bunch of bands uh like Amberlynn Story of the Year My Chemical Romance like all and so I just like started I put in I would put in like a CD and then I would just kind of like hear and yeah. just sort of, sort of like play it back and just I'd lock myself in my room pretty much and would do that for hours and then and then eventually took on singing like a little more seriously and then mm-hmm. yeah that's it for me uh my my family's pretty like tone deaf uh <laughs> same like, <laughs> i feel like you either come from a family that's super musical or they're all tone deaf and yeah. you're like how did this happen yeah um how can i determine pitch but the only reason like music was always a part of me was my parents would just jam around to like oldies mm-hmm. mexican music like yeah. everything so I, my first sh- co- show i went to was earth wind and fire <laughs> okay oh. uh so that, was, that that i wanted to anyway that was like i need to go to this show is earth wind and fire yeah um, and then, like, I was an awkward, like, teen boy, so I had, like, things <laughs> I needed to figure out, so guitar, like, kind of helped me, like, figure that out. <laughs> and now he's an awkward teen man. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm an awkward man child. So. <laughs> man child, yeah. <laughs> so, you guys come from kind of different backgrounds, again. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. of you are tone deaf backgrounds, some of you have really musical backgrounds, and all different types of artists as well. Um, so... How have you brought that together to make Racing on the Sun? Like, I know you guys mentioned Amber Lynn is, like, a big influence. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Are there any other artists that you feel, like, just really, you try to kind of, I don't want to say model yourself after, mm-hmm. but you just, you know, 
you're like, okay. Take a lot from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's just, there's so many different influences. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, you you just, you, t you take bits and pieces of like, of yeah. everything. Because even collectively, like, Oscar like really doesn't listen to a whole lot of rock. Mm -hmm. I mean, he listens to a lot of R&B and like hip hop and like sure. that's like mm -hmm. th and and he kind of brings that flavor and and you know and brian listens to a lot of like just really cool like circus survive like, it's one of my favorites yeah um thrice it, actually the same with oscar thrice, thrice is like the reason uh -huh. why i'm playing music like i i can say yeah. that if it was not for that band i wouldn't like yeah. be, be here you you like, you'd be like break dancing crush. on the side of the street somewhere like, <laughs> assault on cardboard <laughs> 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 trying to be kanye is yeah. like personal assistant oh, and, yeah. and then and then donnie's like very in like the pop punk uh, the sort of pop punk scene and, and vibe, and then uh, and then me alternative, and I and I I listen to a lot of pop music actually, and so uh, mm. and which is I mean, so you kind of got like a nice little mix. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm. definitely, and you just kind of take like rhythms from one <clears throat> genre, like the influences, you know, rhythmically and then melodically from a different one, and so it's just kind of a melting pot of of stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Of stuff. Well, of let's stuff. go ahead and take a listen to one of your songs. Sounds um, good. Consequences. Yeah. So, what is this song about? I'm assuming it's about consequences, but yeah. It, so, funny enough, um, it's kind of like about like, uh, especially like high school and like early like college years. Like yeah. my kind of like struggle with just like always trying to, basically like, be like cool with girls, like <laughs> and just like you know, and and just like being obsessed <laughs> with like what like girls would like think about me. Like as mm -hmm. embarrassing as it if as it is to like admit that like i definitely went through a phase where like oh so we're not the only ones i'm just saying like that's great, I, 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 great I, to know yeah, I would, the first I just, person i heard to admit that that's pretty cool dude i mean it just i would i would walk into a room and i'm just like do you does she think i'm cute or does she and it's just like it's dealing with those insecurities yeah. and just kind of like they would they kind of led me to make like some poor choices and it just uh yeah. just kind of dealing with yeah. that so that's what the song's about so. all right well let's awesome. take a listen cool. to consequences she makes me feel so strong She makes me feel so weak She's written on my bones Convinced she's what I need She makes me feel so dry
with the music project sponsored by Hubert's Lemonade. Hubert yeah. You guys are talking about how you like the Huberts. Oh, we like so the Huberts good. as well. So they're I like they're on, so good to us. On the back of the bottle, it says it's made with sunshine, mm-hmm. passion, and sweet lemons. Hmm. I didn't even know those were everything like you'll ever need. Only the best will do. I, I mm-hmm. buy it because of the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my personal favorite really is taste it. the caps yes. when you open it. You can like pop them. Oh, I love it. Like they're, they, <laughs> they like go down. Yeah, mine is already open, so I you can't. You don't know really what do you now. just started with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's really bad, but I'll just sit there and I'll play that with it. It sounds like the silent claps just when it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it sounds like one hand claps. <laughs> We're all just Anyways, the rest of the interview just says we are here today <laughs> with Racing on the Sun, and we just played one of their songs, Consequences. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Love it. And it was funny because right before you so, guys came in, um, Dan was telling me uh, more about Amberlynn. He's like, he sounds just like the guy from Amberlynn. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. So do you guys, let's talk a bit about your writing process and like how you guys have made songs in the past. Like, do you start with guitar riff or do you start with a lyrical idea? Uh, is it different? Who all is part of it? And yeah, I'll answer all of those at the exact same time with <laughs> okay. a yes a or a no. <laughs> like and then clap twice. <laughs> clap, <laughs> then clap twice. <laughs> the one-handed clap. <laughs> um, so so uh, I'm the primary song songwriter, and mm-hmm. uh, and then I just basically take the songs to these guys, and they we just kind of hash them out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, because even though, like, I'll write, like, the, the drum part for the song, like, I'm not, I can hold a beat, but I'm not a drummer. You know, so and, you have and an idea, yeah, and then you have him kind of embellish sure. it yeah, a little bit and more. Yeah, Bri- he like Brian comes and like polishes it. You know what I mean? As well mm-hmm. as like uh, which works being really a bass well. And yeah, especially we both pretty much have generally the same idea. Every once in a while, we'll be like completely opposite end of the field. Yeah. but thinking but, you're together, but totally yeah. opposite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, once we like hash it out, write it all down, we know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, so hashing it out and is the key term. Yes, the hash yeah. thing absolutely. Slash. <laughs> <laughs> the hashling, the hashling, the rashling. Yes. Where are you going, Mr. Taylor? Taylor? Man, we were just talking about this on break. You can make connections between the most random things. I don't know how you do it. We but. do the same thing too. Yeah, it's we just, do. We're yeah. just random it's things cool. all the time. It's a good way to keep a conversation going. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as like the main lyricist, yeah. Do you see that? You know, because that's my main thing. Right. Do you find that you write most? I know some people like to write mostly about you know stuff that's happened in their lives and yeah. you know very personal experience, and everyone drives off that. But do you also tend to? How do I wear this? Write songs about things that haven't happened to you, or just you know kind of make up stories or things like that as well. Or do you tend to stick to more personal experiences? Um. Normally, it's, like, more personal. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like, I mean, up until, like, very recently, Mm -hmm. like, pretty much any love song I'd written was, like, totally, like, not sincere. Like, on my my part. Like, to to be honest. Like, but it's, like, Mm -hmm. I know that that's, like, what people, like, experience and, like, that's what they like. And so, uh, you know, but um, normally I try to keep it, uh, like, personally because it's just it's just kind of an outlet for me yeah. i mean there's things yeah. there's things that i just kind of have to say and things that i have to express and so that's like my way to to do it really but um but every once in a while i mean and it's kind of a good way to keep myself in check too mm-hmm. because eventually when i realize like i'm just writing about the same subject over and over again it's You're like, like i need to go get a I life need, yeah, i need, I need to, to go like yeah i need <laughs> to do something different like in my own personal mm-hmm. life, you know what I mean? And that way it'll reflect like in the songs themselves. So have you ever written a song and told someone you wrote it about them? Ooh. Like, Ooh. hey, I-, I got you. I wrote this about you. Ayo Just girl. hope you know. <laughs> Ayo, Ayo girl. Yeah. I mean, but not uh I mean there's one. I know mm-hmm. that there's at least been once. Mm-hmm. But uh I don't because sometimes it's nice little like to have that secret to yourself. Like, yeah. ooh, I know who this is about, and no one else does. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, like that. Slip. I mean, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I write songs about people constantly and mm-hmm. like situations constantly, but don't like say anything. Yeah. And then, yeah. Would you ever put yourself in a situation just to write a song later? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a really good question. I would. Very interesting. Part <laughs> of life is the memories. It depends right. on. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. it depends I would, on. The I, I would the do something crazy and then write a song about it. Write a country song I, about it. I normally, <laughs> I normally get myself into pretty like weird situations, like in general, like without <laughs> without trying to like mm-hmm. write a song about it anyway. So it's funny because <laughs> also another <laughs> another thing is it's hard to write a funny story or uh, to write about a funny <laughs> thing that happened yeah. in, in your life without making it pop punk. Yeah. yeah. Like you can like pop punk yep. just uh-huh. yeah. lends itself to that. Like See, I wrote a song about Justin when we were in a band together and I didn't tell him for about three years and then the like last year I'm like, Hey, did you know I wrote this song about you? And he's like, yeah. Oh. 
We played that. <laughs> we we <laughs> played that. <laughs> we that makes sense now. What? My life has been a lie. <laughs> I know. I just want, I couldn't. Re- I just wondered why I related to the song <laughs> so heavily. <laughs> but no, I mean it's always fun to like incorporate like little things in your life or certain lyrics that yeah. have like a double meaning or stuff like that. I always find that yeah, because like even right now I'm like writing. I mean, just like super recently, as mm. cliche as it is, I'm like writing a song right now about like just like the tour experience. Yeah, and it's like uh, there's all sorts of little like hints at little like inside jokes and when, if you weren't there you wouldn't get it ex- but for exactly. you it makes yeah. it like very special like they're gonna totally get it yeah. and it is I guess like hey guys I'm writing a song for you for you Aww. about you so but I mean but uh, but Don't aside, piss off. aside <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it can, it's not done he can change yeah, the direction can. very fast I absolutely can yeah but uh, aside from that like it's yeah you know normally pretty straightforward yeah awesome awesome uh, well I think we have a game or we could yeah, do, we do either a game like or a song next. Let's do one more song so I can finish the game. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, Lauren I'm not done with do it yet. Um, so we have one more song from you um, before you, um, you guys play called Unbreakable. And so what did you write this about since we were just finished talking about, you know, kind of your lyric process? Yeah. Uh, th- so this one is like <clears throat> just, I mean, it's called Unbreakable because it's, it's just pretty much just like a testimony of like the human will. And just how, like, you know, anyone who's, like, listening right now or all of us in this room, like, have experience, have gone through whatever, you know, whatever we have yeah. in our personal lives. And whether that's loss of family or heartbreak, you know, the illnesses, what, whatever it may be. But, like, w- somehow we're still here. Like, that's that's something to be, like, noted and so- mm-hmm. something to be, like, recognized is that we're still, like, alive. We're still living. We're still we're still pursuing because naturally, like, we're always going to, like, persist to, like, carry on. Yeah. Um, even in like the darkest of times. And so that unbreakable just kind of like touches on that of how like mm-hmm. we are in a sense like pretty unbreakable if we, you know, al- allow ourselves to be like, you know, there's not a whole lot that can that can keep us down. So. All right. Well, awesome. let's take a listen to so Unbreakable deep. by Racing on the Sun.
One more time. Say wait, what what did you just say? Say it. Say it right I, now. Say it to my face. I said I can hear the circuit influence. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. We are <laughs> back. I love. Uh, sorry. With I, I love circuit racing on the sun. Um, on the music project sponsored by Hubert's Lemonade. All right, we want to play a quick little game with you guys before you guys. You know, uh, play your uh, instruments. Right on. Yeah. Um, play your weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this yes. is um, a game I came up with called How Well Do You Know Your Band Member? Okay. And so I've written up super generic questions, and I'm going to ask one of you, and only one of you, to answer a question about another bandmate, and you have to answer it without help. Now, oh, I think... The is... Well, we well, kind of we kind of changed up the rules on the last one. It, well, I think if it's, I like one it. Person, if one person doesn't get the answer right, someone else can come in and take their point. Okay. Only one other person? Well... Uh, uh, well, if well, it's, if it, we keep getting it it'll wrong, it'll have to I go mean, in like order of can we fight? If okay. we, but like, the, but the first person, has, but the first person has to answer and get it wrong. Like but, you can't jump yeah. in and say, "Oh, I know the answer." Yeah. Okay, like, okay, okay. like for example, if um, mm. Donald, I ask you a question about Brian, you would have to answer it first, and then if you got it wrong, then someone else could steal. All right. Got it. And that's when we put in twenty bucks <laughs> for the first round. Yep. Keep and if, up and if, there, if you guys both want to go to it, it's just a fight to the death. So it I just mean, makes a lot. That's easier. that's like the bonus round. To, to the with with weapon. your weapons. I have a weapon, yeah. so yeah. I already. We do have a yeah, you've got your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe yeah. not to the death. All right. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah, Alfonso. So. Yep. All right. I what is Donald's good. favorite chick flick? Oh snap! <laughs> He's like such a man's man. Like I don't even. I don't even. gotta have I don't even think he watches. Chick-flick. You gotta have one. Every We've been guy best friends since like, I mean, we were like born. That's like, <laughs> yeah. and I don't know. That's. Do you have one? Do I have one? You can. Get, I don't. When in I doubt, just one. say Mean Girls. Yeah. Mean Girls. Love Actually. I I, I have watched <laughs> Mean actually. Girls, and I do think it's a it's a fine film. <laughs> it's a fine <laughs> film. Will we count that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most masculine yeah, sure. way I've ever yeah, heard yeah, that sure. being told. We'll count All right. It. All right. It's a fine film. All right, Donald. Mm, it's a nice fine film there. What's what's Brian's favorite animal? Brian's favorite animal? <laughs> oh, jeez. I told you these are super generic. Tiger. <laughs> Tiger. I think, I think you helped out on that one. On uh, yeah, somewhere. sorry. Just, just a bit. Just we'll that. give it to you, though. I happen to have him on. All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll give it. Brian, <laughs> who is Oscar's celebrity crush? Oh, dude. Yeah. Kanye West. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, you had to answer that. It was either that or yeah. Ursher. Yeah. Ursher. 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 Kanye West? I'll, I'll give that to him. <laughs> I, I, I'm quite fond of those two. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So um, terrible. I have we? a type. Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> what is Alfonso's favorite fast food, Oscar? Oh, man. Fast food restaurant. Um, oh. Fast food. Seriously? Yeah, I I'm can tell you his order. Probably McDonald's. <laughs> Two McDoubles, no onion, one hot and spicy, a medium fry, and a cup of water. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I feel that's a steal. That is a steal. <laughs> but I, the thing is, he got it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He, hold he on, got hold it. On. And he won. I'm going to give you a point, <laughs> I think but I'm going to give him a bonus point. Because oh. oh. the he specific order was pretty good. <laughs> it was so, It was spot on. This is war, Absolutely. apparently. All right. <laughs> you guys are out to break up our band, aren't you? <laughs> 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 All right. Start. Alfonso. Yes. If Brian could eat dinner with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Diving or lead? Oh, dang. Diving or lead. Speaking my language here. Uh, <laughs> um, Actually, yeah, that's totally Brian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is something you would say, too. Uh, snap. Living or dead? I don't even think you know this one. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's the answer right there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm no. just going to say Christopher Walken. That would be cool, yeah. That would be down All right. for that. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Works for we'll, us. We'll give you the point. All right. Donald. Uh, yeah. Um... What is Oscar's biggest fear? Oscar's biggest fear? Dude. Probably just getting close to anyone in the band here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. Sharing feelings. <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> or do you have a better I'm answer? I'm going to steal this one. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Zombies. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Zombies? Zombies? Okay. Absolutely. Are you, you have, okay, man. You have no idea how petrified I am I would that. love it's to like be an irrational, f- yeah. an irrational fear because they don't exist, but he's just like... Yet. Dude, so, like, I'd love <laughs> to be in a post apocalyptic. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> she knows what's up. She understands. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brian, what's Alfonso's favorite color? It's like the simplest question I could ask. Probably black. Was, correct. Yeah. Black? Cool. Yeah. Wow. Brian, that, like his heart. That <laughs> <laughs> like his heart. And then, last one Oscar, what's Donald's favorite video game? Oh, 
if it, if it's, if it's, no, I mean, when the bro comes out. He, he, games, he games so much. I'm going to hope it's Super Smash Bros., but I don't really know what it would be. Yeah. yeah we'll I mean, like, you played that, like, South Park game, <laughs> and you played... Uh, played Star Wars so game. Or maybe, games. maybe, maybe Star Fox. Star Fox sixty four. Yeah, Star Fox sixty four. Hey. Okay. I mean, he, he's he's a cool, you, he's an you avid named gamer. enough to enough good yeah. ones. But we do have a clear cut winner here. <laughs> yeah, Alfonso won with uh, three points. The rest Dang of you right. were tied with two. We so you guys actually know actually, each other pretty didn't well. Donnie Wait, yeah, point? yeah, yeah. But we already put that in there. Yeah, we gave Donald. Alfonso stole. Don't take away my win, bro. <laughs> Alfonso stole another point. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so he got both right, right got, and got, stole yeah, a point. Go for right. a bonus. We can right. go for a bonus for second. Too All right, we're gonna just do bonus because and because we can. Oh, but I already won. No, for no, no, second no, 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 place. You won. You won. So take it easy. Take it easy, okay? No worry. Take it easy, okay? You'll get your trophy. You still win. You still win. You get you get a free Huberts. The rest of you for second place have to go around and say an embarrassing story about one of your bandmates. And the most embarrassing that thing that has happened to them on stage. Oh jeez. Oh man. man. Um, We're pretty awesome that nothing really happened. <laughs> okay, how about it doesn't have to be on stage? I mean, I can think of a big one on stage. It's not like super embarrassing. It's not it's embarrassing. Crazy. I think we can all think of one. Then just open it to generic life. Okay. Just something embarrassing well, that's happened I, to one of them. I I well I'm, you guys can say that can one. Explain his. Yeah. yeah. His scenario. Well, I wasn't there, so I think Brian. Oh yeah, yeah Brian. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, funny enough, on stage I didn't really notice until after the show. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> Oscar played it off so well. He, he I tore thought he was his like Achille on the floor, just like he tore loving. his Achilles tendon. <gasps> yep. At like the first song, <sighs> and so the he's like song. hopping around, <laughs> and he's like a very like. Energetic. Like just energetic performer. Mm -hmm. So the whole time, but I thought it was looking silly. So there's mm -hmm. like even a couple like, like photos like of me like looking thing. at him, like kind of like giving him a dirty look. Like, 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 dude, like, like <laughs> stop goofing. Up. Like, you, you it's look cool that you're moving around, but why are you hopping <laughs> on the <laughs> foot? Mm -hmm. And then, and then on the, the floor. And just, then the ow. final song ends, and I look back, and he's just on the floor, just like in <laughs> agony. And I was just like, what are you doing? Like, it was just the weirdest performance. And then he explained it, and I was like, oh. I tore my Achilles. <laughs> After a couple minutes of laying on the floor, I think they got those. Yeah. The <laughs> that was actually our first show with Hour 24, too. Oh, it was. That was yeah. on this mm -hmm. tour? Yep. No, no, no. no, oh, no. Okay. no, no this is like, a, this is like a, going on with a <laughs> torn attendant. No, he was on crutches forever. But, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, the first time we met them, though. Okay. It was that show. That's yeah. so funny. funny <laughs> and I, I walked around because I didn't know I tore it. I walked around like a zombie, funny enough, for like two. And people would like video. Were you afraid me, of yourself? Like, I was. You, like, just like, like, <laughs> no, my, my, goodness. My, my leg. My ankle is purple. And like my foot was just like it, apparently it was blood draining. Yeah, but really I was bad. like, I was like, what's going on with me? It's hardcore. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Anyone else got any fun stories about performing to embarrass y your band members? Uh, Our twenty four had a really good one. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. we didn't even know that one. That was intense. That was yeah. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's kind of gross. Uh -huh. It was. Yeah. Super gross. Pants didn't yeah. really rip. It's okay. Did you guys hear that um, Ed Sheeran just came out like literally? couple days ago in an interview and said oh, that he man. crapped his pants during a show oh, because man. he what? misjudged a fart. What a like, oh, <laughs> one of those. Yeah. That oh. is bad. It happens to the best of us. He yeah. said he like he came outside he's like yeah and I just I didn't really know what to do so I kind of just kept playing and at least he wasn't wearing shorts. <laughs> well and and then he's a solo performer most of the time so yeah. he's just up there like by himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like a bassist is going to walk up to him right. and be like I feel like you can make <laughs> some yeah. sort of funny pun out of that like Ed she like uh, shot, you know. Well, you can make something out of that. Yeah, but you know, like you know, if you have a band, you can kind of be like, "Hey guys, probably do be a pretty crappy, five minute though. bass solo, and I'll be back." And <laughs> then, <laughs> but no, he's just by himself, and he's like, "Okay, well, I gotta finish the show, I guess." It's gotta be so uncomfortably warm. So. I, w yeah, I wonder if there's a point where he's okay with it and just smiles, like he's just like. <laughs> 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 like life man do you guys ever feel that with heated seats like do you feel like you peed your pants when you turn oh on a heated God. seat in a car yeah. I get that feeling oh. like it, it anyways yeah, I don't like heated <laughs> seats alright Garrett has something to say oh. that was a weird mic twist it just kind of died but yeah those heated seats like it, it just feels like it's wet and it's just yeah it's, it's not it's like, like warm oh. I don't. I, yeah, I don't know about that, really but the moisture back there is just like it's like a smell. rainforest oh, back yeah. there. Oh yeah, it's so <laughs> misleading. Like, y yeah, it's, it's it feels good on your back though. Mm. I like it on my I back. Think I've ever had heated, heated seats. seats. 
Especially when it's cold outside, <laughs> like driving through like Colorado. some seated heat. Yep. Some seated heat. <laughs> Dude, I love talking like that. That <laughs> still makes sense. All I know though. is that though. Justin just got a new car, and I remember sitting in the back. He's like, oh, "The back seats have heaters," and I'm like, "Okay, that's well, pretty intense." Yeah, though. Wait, the back seats have heaters, which is yeah. great. But I'm like, "Why do you need back seat heaters if you're not gonna sit there?" Well, keep your food warm. Oh, exactly. <laughs> it's so <laughs> mad at you right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold this. Yes. Every delivery boy's dream car. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. So you guys are currently on tour, though, with our band who was on last week, Hour 24. Correct. Mm-hmm. And they are awesome. We love them. So how has this tour been so far? Incredible. Magic. It's has been there been a show that's stuck experience. out so far? Uh, or close. Funny enough, yeah, I think our hometown show, because yeah. we went mm-hmm. through, we were like gone a week and then passed yeah. through, and it's like the biggest hometown show we've like ever played. And yeah. so that it, it definitely, that was a highlight. Uh, What's your favorite St. Louis show to play in Denver? Or your favorite Place. venue? Venue, probably where we play. Oh, at. Red Rocks, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we played at. It's called the Mox, the Moxie Theater. Yeah. So shout Moxie. out to the oh, Moxie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, that's probably. I mean, that's my favorite. But I don't know you guys. That's yeah. definitely my favorite. Yeah. I think the it's our home away well from made. home. Mm-hmm. It's it's just yeah solid. It's just a the great people there. there is so nice. Yeah, everyone that works there is great at what they do. Yep. It sounds nice big amazing. Stage and to run around. The only part that sucks is the two flight of stairs you have to go up to load to load up. They do have elevators that you can use, but you have to go all the way uh, around the block. So it, so it, like it, so it takes about like the same amount of time. Elevator? Pretty much, yeah. Kind of. No, it's more like a personal elevator. Oh. Uh, like it's a personal w- elevator sh- used <coughs> as a cargo elevator. I remember there was one show I went to, and uh, I was loading my drums in. It was at the San Diego show in uh, House of Blues. They had yeah. this Oh, yeah, they've got that big elevator. Huge cargo elevator. It's so cool. But like it takes an operator to go in, <laughs> so you have to oh, wait there wow. for the operator. You have to wait so for the like operator. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, but I think it's. W- I'd rather do that than oh, try yeah. to get everything down a huge flight of stairs. Yeah. Well, yeah. Three flights of stairs. Yeah. Wow. Well, you guys have weapons of choice in your hand. Yes. Um, would you like to use them and play us some sweet melodies on your guitars? I mean, when you put it that way, yeah. <laughs> 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 you just sweet sold melodies. that. Yeah, yeah, you did. You, that was. <clears throat> Sweet like a marketing melodies. major. That was like you went you went through with that all the way. That was pretty cool. Well, I'm taking music business for a reason. Sweet succulent melodies. Guitar. <laughs> Sweet succulent. Play, yeah, so succulent. Let's play us the nectars of your instruments. T- Taylor, do you want to go ahead and get the mic up? Poetic. Yes, I will. Um, cool. So as he mics you guys up, we're gonna stall for a minute. Um, can you give us your social media so people know where to find you and yeah, um, check out so your music. Facebook.com slash racing on the sun. Uh, Twitter at Racing on the Sun, YouTube.com slash Racing, Racing on the, the sun. sun. Yeah, I mean, Instagram. we got lucky with the name that we don't have to, like to have like a just across like a, a band or anything. Same. Yep, all across. And where are your next couple shows? I mean, I know we asked Hour 24 last week, but like, yeah. um, just a little refresher on where you guys are playing next. So we're playing um, Long Beach today, mm-hmm. Long Beach, California, and then uh, we're playing San Diego the 29th, mm-hmm. and then we head to uh, Arizona. Yeah. I believe after right. that. Arizona. And the rest of your dates are probably on Facebook. Yeah. And yep, they're all there as well. So okay. There's quite a, l- a lot of the tour left still. So Yeah, so you guys are only, you're not even halfway through yet. Nope. Mm. Crazy enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, it should be a lot of fun. Long Beach is awesome. Um, that, that's a lovely sound, Taylor. <laughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> that you're making with the microphone. Oh, right on. Thanks. Awesome. So all the three songs that you guys have heard are from our like recently released EP, yes. which is Save Me. Awesome. Okay. And uh, so that's, we're really stoked. Uh, we got to record that, the Blasting Room up in Fort Collins, which is an amazing studio with some amazing people. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we've really been pushing that, uh, just the three songs on that EP. Yep. So which is on Spotify and Spotify, iTunes and all, iTunes, that good stuff, so. all that good stuff. Sweet. So, so this song that you're going to play for us is called Self Destruct. Yes. Right? Yes. And so give us a little bit of background on this song and then <coughs> whenever you guys are ready. So it's the opening uh, the opening song to the, the three and okay. it basically starts out like the whole save me idea just like um, it just kind of tackles the same sort of concept like consequences was like my insecurities like with mm-hmm. girls and stuff and then self um, destruct is just kind of like my insecurities uh, growing up. With and how they affect you. And how they how they affected me and just like in general like uh, am I a good singer? Am I a good songwriter? Mm-hmm. Am I a yeah. person like all those kinds of things yeah. and just what other people you know are thinking about me so that's what so they all kind of go together yeah yep and then that's why unbreakable at the very end is just kind of the, the conclusion that the happy ending like awesome. you make it through all of it so. awesome well whenever you guys are ready all right take awesome. it away <clears throat> Over to you Only when you 
and on their skin do you think of me or oh, am i good enough you call the shots here my love and my fear you say when it's enough wake me up before i lose my life over to you only when you are broom do i do i do i love myself wake me up before I lose my life over to you Only when you are room do I Do I love myself The voices in my head Are all screaming at me you're nothing more than who you were before Your past is too heavy What do I give such weight To all these words you say Who I am is who you say I am And oh, it's killing me Wake me up before I lose my life over to you Only when you are room do I do I, do I love myself? Wake me up before I lose my life over to you Only when you are broom do I, do I love myself? Oh, oh, oh. in because like no yeah. one was like expecting it yeah. and she like comes over like oh hello okay awesome so this is coming off of a new ep right mm -hmm. that you're working on do we have an estimated is it released yet or? it's released it yeah. is oh, yep. okay yep so it's up on on itunes spotify um google play all, all the awesome. major distributors so awesome. awesome and we actually have about like five more minutes left so i mean we have time for another song if you guys if have you guys anything it, if, if you, you guys don't. aren't it's okay. cool too <clears throat> sorry um, to put you on the spot cool. encore encore <laughs> yeah that was awesome guys like a one that's been recorded um three degrees or um bunny break okay you can do that blink cover and we'll just bleep every other word yeah actually no we yeah yeah <laughs> so this, we're going to do a song called Bond and Break. Okay. And it's awesome. off of our older EP. Fantastic. What Makes Us Real. And that's uh, up on yeah. all the stores, too. So you can find it there. All right. All right. We'll take it away. No. is 
I know I want more The need is in your eyes Go close that door But we just, what have we done? Shot us down like a handgun Quick, cause here comes our sun It's a dead end, there's nowhere to run There's no exchanging of names Kill romance, we just want games But too soon we become prey Convince myself I'm okay The bathroom mirror tells me Cheer up boy, you look so clean Why are you making a scene? I'm covered I We are looking for love In all the wrong places We bound and we break How can we not see the damage done? And come to an end before it's begun I'll play the gentleman to prove I'm tame But I'll take until there's nothing left to take Why must we twist our desires? Betray truth and become liars Burn like destructive wildfires Kings of our selfish empires What seemed like love's sweetest taste Has become your cool embrace That look of fear on your face We reach our hearts and laid waste Give me a chance to belong What trade of hearts with no wrong Cause I'm a freedom not shown Take one more step and I'm gone We are looking for love In all the wrong places We bound and we break How can we not see the damage done And come to an end before it's begun We bond and we break How can we not see the damage done And come to an end before it's begun We are looking for love In all the wrong places We bond and we break how can we not see the damage done and come to an end before it's begun? No. 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 Thank you. Woo! Awesome. Great job. That was awesome. I love that. Thank well, thank, thank you guys so thank much for coming for and hanging us. out you. with us for this lovely hour. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, make sure to go check out their music on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spotify, Google Play, yep. iTunes, all of that fun stuff because you guys are really awesome. Thank you. So thank, thank you, you so for coming and hanging out with us. Of course. Thank you, Justin Taylor. We appreciate yeah. you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you guys for being on here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm Lauren Darrow Owens. I'm Justin Tanucci. My name is Taylor Reyes. And this has been The Music Project. See you guys next week. Take care. In the future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life. From